Com. So call 1-800-943-0907. Call now. You're watching News 12 New Jersey. Only on cable. Never on Fios. Never on satellite. can't be real, come on. Put on the news. We are the news. It's hard to believe what we're reporting, but it does appear to be fact. <laughs> this is the latest disclosure. It has been established that zombies have been coming back to life because there's no football in the afterlife. Dino, Dino, you gotta do something, man. The truck is it's surrounded by these things. You gotta do something. George, George, hang in there, brother. Hang in there. We've got it covered. Just push the button. Hello and welcome to Friday Night Football here on News 12 New Jersey. We are happy to say hello to the Warren Hills cheerleaders who join us in studio. I am Brian DiNovella. So glad you could join us here on Halloween weekend. And yes, beware of the zombies out there. My thanks to George Romero Falkowski for that rendition of Night of the Living Dead. Hey, speaking of zombies, let's kick it out to George and Franklin Lakes with our big game. Number six Ramapo hosting 10th ranked Wayne Hills. George. Thank goodness you're alive and okay. I couldn't have done it without you, Brian. <laughs> Uh, this, you know, no zombies in this game. Uh, this was a rematch, of course, of a championship game played at the Meadowlands last year. Ramapo won that going away, and Wayne Hills has been waiting 11 months just about for payback. Did they get it? Highlights. Pick things up. Start of the second quarter. Ramapo with a 7-6 lead. Wayne Hills on a drive, and Kevin Olson finds Troy Zafino corner of the end zone. How'd that get past the defender? Nobody knows, but it counts. 12-6. They'll go for two to make it a 14-7 lead, but things don't quite work out as Brian Dowling is hauled down. So it's still 12-6. 15-6 now, Wayne Hills. Tyler Ward back to pass. Pass is caught, bobbled, and picked. Kind of like watching Eli Manning and the Giants. Zafino takes it down to the Ramapo 14. Couple of plays later, it's Dowling taking it in with a little resistance. Point after is good, it's 22-7. And then Tyler Ward harassed by the Wayne Hills D late in the second. He can scramble all he wants, but all he does is lose about 18 yards. It's 22-7 Wayne Hills at the half. After a scoreless third, we go to the fourth. And once again, it's Brian Dowling. And look at him go, 35 more yards on the day. He would cap this drive with a short touchdown burst. 46 carries, 324 yards, three touchdowns. And his night wasn't over. More on that in a second. Hey, Greg Olson, bye week for the Bears on the sideline, giving his dad Chris some pointers. Ramapo still got some bullets in the gun. War to Doug Norquette for a touchdown. 26 yards, point good, 29-14. It's a two-score game. But when Ramapo gets it back, Wayne Hills is laying for him. And who else? Dowling with the pick. Runs it in for his fourth touchdown of the game. 36-14, Wayne Hills with a big statement win. Big win. I mean, understatement. Woo! Great win. Tonight, we were more. We were probably the most physical we've been in, in a while. Hell yeah. All right, look yeah. at this. We got blood on our nose. We got guys with no teeth. That's football. <laughs> okay. 324 yards. You're not even huffing and puffing. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the numbers are one thing, but you got to give the credit to the offensive line. No running back runs the ball 50 times and is good enough to just make people miss. So, you know, our offensive line and Coach Olsen have put in so much time on, on Ramapo's blitzes and all their different schemes. And, you know, we executed today. And when that happens, you know, I think anybody can run the ball like that. And how does it feel to be a part of this and, and to lead your team to a big win? Yeah, you know, watching my brothers play. You know, when I was little, they were beating, they were beating Ramapo, beating Ramapo. And now just to actually play and actually beat Ramapo myself feels great. 
So a big win for the road team tonight, Brian. And yeah, they do expect they'll be meeting up again in a couple of weeks come playoff time. Meanwhile, just up the hill at Indian Hills, they were 0-7 coming into, into tonight's game, facing Northern Highlands and looking to get off the schneid. Coach Joe Sabella had some advice for his guys. Go out there tonight and do it. No mistakes. Don't kill yourselves. Go out there, execute, and get your first word. Let's go. Let's go. The leaves blowing in the wind at Indian Hills tonight. And talk about a neat charity. Check this out. The visiting Northern Highlands team rushed for a cure for every yard on the ground. They're donating money to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And money in the bank on the first drive of the game. That's Zach Ross Nash capping it off with a touchdown run. Point good. It was 7-0. Indian Hills still looking for that first win, trying to come back. Quarterback Danny Thompson on the run. He's got a first down and more. No points to show for it on that drive. Back comes Indian Hills. Quarterback Ryan Grove to Joe Nicoletti. How many guys to knock him down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice defense to the ball. A couple of plays later, more money in the bank for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. That's Zach Ross Nash with his second score of the game. 14 zip after one. Northern Highlands wins it 35 0. And Brian, why uh, Indian Hills did not win, they uh, did donate one more helmet to the cause. So make some room in the office. I'm bringing it back. Let's get it back to you. <laughs> I think that's 125 now, George. I'm losing count. <laughs> Good job out there. All right, if Wayne Hills and Ramapo was the 1A game this week, our next game was 1B. 6-0 Mountain Lakes visiting 6-0 Butler. This was a rematch of last year's North 1 Group 1 State Final. Won big by Mountain Lakes 48-7. Butler not only seeking revenge, but the Bulldogs trying to snap the state's longest active winning streak of 31 straight wins. Let's head to Morris County. Where's Waldo? I think we just found him. He's at Butler High School. Mountain Lakes running. What is this? Mountain Lakes running a, a two headed wildcat. Hey, whatever it is, it worked. Dylan Muti taking it down the sidelines. 20, 10, pushed out of bounds at the five, a gain of 33 yards. And then they hand it off to Tim LeBeau. And he plows into the end zone, seven nothing thundering herd, but Butler struck right back on their next possession. They're going for it on fourth and four from the 28. Thomas Brigham gets the first down and a whole lot more. Brigham races 28 yards for the touchdown that tied the game at seven. And here's Butler looking for more, but Brigham throws it right to Robbie Rohan. Mountain Lake scores a touchdown in the final minute. They rally to beat Butler 17 14. The streak is alive at 32 in a row. All right, let's take our first break on Friday Night Football. We've got more highlights from Passaic, Hudson, Union, Essex, Middlesex, Somerset, and Monmouth. But first, let's meet our high school hero brought to you by the Central Jersey Blood Center. It's Shane Guinan, a senior from Jackson Liberty. He was student of the month in September, and he helped organize a blood drive at the school earlier on Friday. Way to go, Shane. We're back with more highlights and scores on Friday Night Football. Kingston. You're watching News 12 New Jersey. Around New Jersey, around the clock. This is News 12 New Jersey. Only on cable. Never on Fios. Never on satellite. Kids fighting pediatric cancer deserve a helping hand. That's why your local Hyundai dealers have created Hyundai Hope on Wheels, a traveling tribute to those battling this disease. With your help, we've raised more than $20 million for pediatric cancer research in the past 12 years, including $6 million this year alone. To learn more, visit HyundaiHopeOnWheels.org. You've probably heard a lot about reverse mortgages lately, and frankly, it may all seem just a little confusing. And if you're anything like me, you want to have all the facts before you make any big decision. That's why I want to send you this free DVD about reverse mortgages. It'll walk you through the process from qualification to counseling to closing and also answer some important questions. What are the costs and how do they compare to a traditional mortgage? How is the government involved? And what is your responsibility after you get your reverse mortgage? The answers are all in this free DVD.
A reverse mortgage could be a smart, safe, and secure option that could help you pay off your original mortgage, manage your health care costs, or just cover your day-to-day -day expenses. So call this toll-free number and let me send you your free video right now. Call 1-800-318-0381. This is crazy good. Oh, I gotta bring Triple D here. I'll see you next time on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Do you want the chance to meet Chef Duff Goldman, star of the Food Network's Ace of Cakes? Visit Palisades.com and vote for your favorite New Jersey diner in the Palisades Jersey Diners Choice Awards. Palisades, the nice New Jersey car insurance company. Thanks to the Warren Hills High School cheerleaders being here on Friday Night Football. Hey, we're getting down to the final two weeks of the regular season for New Jersey high school football teams. In North 1 Group 4, 4-3 four and three Livingston needed a win to solidify its playoff position. The Lancers hosting the Bengals of Bloomfield tonight. And here we go to the highlights. Andrew Egner completing the pass to Sam White. First down for the Lancers. He's pushed out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. Two plays later. Egner goes over the middle to his running back Matt Flynn at the five. The senior scores to make it 13 nothing Lancers. They beat the Bengals 44 14 on to Milburn. And here come the Millers. Racing out, but it's Belleville ball. Running back just coughs it up and a lot of blue shirts there. It's recovered by Ricky Simon for Milburn and they go right to work. Miller's ball. They go for it on fourth down quarterback Luke DeCastner. Getting to the outside, but met by a host of Buccaneers. Belleville stops them right there, and they win 21-16 over Millville. All right, over Milburn. Central Jersey, Group 3, 5-1 Middletown South, closing in on the top seed. A win tonight over Brick Township would do the trick. Here's the coach, Mike Kersey in Monmouth County. Middletown South getting inspiration from the Eagle. The Brick Township Dragons in white, south and blue. Quarterback Howie Bray hands off to Kyle Bunge and the 5'11", 190-pound senior rumbles for 20 yards. Kevin Matthews knocks him out of bounds. Soon after, Bray rolls out. The South Pole delivers. It's a touchdown to Taylor Rogers. Middletown South rolls 41-6. Madness squad at Homedale. A couple of costly penalties put squad in the red zone. Senior Tariq Turner diving for pay dirt. They say he's just short. But junior quarterback Tyler Sato says, I'll take it in. Next play, he gets the touchdown. Later in the quarter, the 6'1", 205-pound Turner gets the handoff and finds room to the outside. Plows his way towards the end zone just short. But they call his number one more time. Good push by the O-line. Manasquan wins 20-7. Out to St. John Vianney in Holmdale. Marlboro on the road. Quarterback Jordan Galinowski, a little dump pass to 5'8 senior Brian Rodrigue. He eats up yardage. Marlboro wins in overtime 22-21. I'm Mike Kersey for Friday Night Football. Hey, don't forget, we need your final scores each week. You can call us at 732-346-3294 or 3293. Another way to get your scores in is our Facebook page, News 12 NJ Friday Night Football. Anthony Source, keep those scores and photos coming. We love it. They're fantastic. We'd like to hear from the fans out there. Share your photos, your comments, and scores, too. We're back with more highlights after this. You're watching News 12 New Jersey, around New Jersey, around the clock. Get Kane in your corner. Call Walt Kane at 732-738-Kane or email Walt at Kane in your corner at News12.com. And get Kane in your corner on News 12 New Jersey. Right now in New Jersey, all eyes are on the Powerball. That's because the jackpot is estimated at over $85 million. Play today before it rolls away. The New Jersey Lottery. Give your dreams a chance. Only you can prevent wildfires. 
Hey, George Falkowski, News 12 New Jersey. You know, Jersey's been the brunt of jokes for years, but you know you're from Jersey if... People always say we have an accent. Yeah. Well, New York's got a pretty good accent, too, but we've got a pretty good... Not like Jersey. Somehow, I escaped the accent. Water. That's how they say it. That's how Jersey say it. You talk, you, you know, drink your coffee in the morning. Unless you talk to them, you won't know. Forget about it. What is it about Jersey drivers that you admire? How they love to hit the brakes. People, like, cut us off in the car, we make sure we beat the horn. They're doing 75 down the turnpike, rain, snow, sleet, or ice. Someone honks at you when you're not in 80 miles per hour. I definitely drive faster here, and I can keep up. <laughs> New Jersey drivers talk a lot, even if there's nobody else in the car. You missed the exit, you're done. News 12 New Jersey is theirs. So there it is, News 12 New Jersey. We live here, we work here, we get it, and we're coming to see you soon. Or tell us what you think now on our News 12 New Jersey Facebook page. On-site fleet service is New Jersey's leading truck and school bus repair company. Family owned and operated for over 33 years, our certified technicians have the knowledge and the tools to keep your vehicles rolling. Our four locations are open 7 a.m. to midnight to service your vehicles when they're idle. As Napa Truck Care Centers, all repairs are warranted nationwide through Napa Affiliated Service Centers. Call on-site fleet service to learn the benefits of servicing with New Jersey's truck and school bus repair professionals. Fifteenth ranked Immaculata expecting another dogfight this week from Elizabeth. Hey, don't let that three and four record fool you for the Minutemen. They began the season with four straight losses to Franklin, Hunter and Central, Linden and Westfield. Four one loss teams. Here we go to Elizabeth. The Minutemen jumped out to a 13 six lead on the Spartans. Cheerleaders thinking, hey, we got an upset going here. But right before the half, Matt Cassabom attempting a 27 yard field goal for Immaculata. It's up and good. 13 nine Spartans trailing then third quarter after a Minutemen fumble. Spartans with the ball. Ralph D'Agostino walks it in. Immaculato beats Elizabeth 29-26. The Dayton Bulldogs playing all their home games at Union High School this year. Hey, look, it's Fred Barney and Joe Rockhead, the Water Buffalo Lodge in session. Here come the Bulldogs. Second play from scrimmage. Anthony Siafi touchdown 7-0 Dayton. Then the Bulldogs score on D. Skyler Apicella lowers the boom. Ball's loose. Scooped up by Christian Wartman. He races in for the touchdown. Dayton rolls 35 to 6. All right, Middlesex County, 11th ranked Piscataway, trying to remain unbeaten heading into next Friday's showdown against number nine Sayreville. The Chiefs looking to take care of the Bears of East Brunswick tonight at home. Here's Tasso Stefanidis. You don't need three eyes to see who's the number one team in Middlesex County. Piscataway looking to run the table. This run goes to number five, Tevin Shaw who's a step ahead of every defender to the near side, 49 yards for the score. East Brunswick really needing a win to stay alive in the playoff race. They'll turn it over to Jared Lynch. He'll keep it himself, bouncing off tacklers and taking the Bears all the way to midfield. A few plays later, Lynch drops back to pass, unloads one to the near side, but it's Shaw on defense with the interception. The Scottaway still undefeated. They win 28 to nothing. Over to Middlesex Township, the Blue Jays hosting Matuche. The Blue Jays give it to Willie Roach, who plows through for first down. Then, near the goal line, is number 24, Sean Gilbert, finishing off the drive. Middlesex with a shutout, 34 to nothing. Battle of the Mustangs, Manville hosting Sussex Tech. Sussex on offense here, they give it to number 14, Mike McKenna. He pinballs off defenders and picks up the first down. But the drive stalled and Manville went to work. The handoff goes to Mike Hopkins in motion. He heads to the far sideline, reaches out for the pylon, and scores. A shutout for Manville. They win 41 to nothing. Tasso Stephanidis, Friday Night Football. Thanks, Tasso. All right, it was back in 2002 that Lakeland snapped an 18-game losing streak with a win at DePaul. I know because one of our producers at News 12 New Jersey, Alex Lombardo, was a linebacker on that Lakeland team. Well, eight years later, the circumstances are slightly different with a 7-0 Lakeland team visiting 5-2 DePaul. Here's Matt Pantolino. All right, thanks a lot, Dino. We'll pick up the Passaic County action. Second quarter at DePaul. Lakeland up 7-zip when Danny Kowal fires a 40-yard bomb to Massimo Aronson to tie it up. 
but check out the action on the other end. Third and goal from the 20 for the Lancers, and Steven Wilkin fires it up for Jason Furyk, who makes the one-handed grab to park Lakeland back in front. Not to be outdone, Kowal fakes the inside handoff and takes off like a rocket. He dashes and dives 20 yards for the score and the tie. Final play, first half, and Matty Jakara boots the 34-yarder with plenty of leg. DePaul holds on in a thriller, 38-28 your final. We stay in Wayne, opening stanza at Passaic Tech, and Isaac Williams on the nice cutback run for 27 big yards. That sets up Lies Jarrett's one-yard touchdown run. Passaic Tech rolls 26-zip over the Indians of Passaic. Off to Clifton, where the Mustangs are pounding Kennedy. Third quarter, and Dondre McLean dashes 28 yards through the Knights' defense. Clifton all over Kennedy. 44-20 your final in Passaic County, Matt Pantolino, Friday Night Football. Clifton rolling along. All right, we've got more highlights to come on Friday Night Football, plus Colonia High School rallies around Eric Le Le LeGrand. You're watching News 12 New Jersey, around New Jersey, around the clock. You're watching News 12 New Jersey, only on cable, never on Fios, never on satellite. You've already got the best TV from Optimum, but if you're still overpaying the phone company for their old phone service and slow internet, I've got good news. Now get a free iPod Touch or $200 back when you switch to Optimum Online and Optimum Voice for just $29.95 a month each for a year. Two great Optimum services at that price? I'd call now. Call 1-866-255-33 and save. You already have the best TV from Optimum. Call 1-866-255-33 and get faster internet and smarter phone service just $29.95 each a month. Optimum Online is up to five times faster than phone company high-speed internet. You deserve faster internet, right? Optimum Voice delivers unlimited calling and 18 calling features included for one flat rate. And no more of the phone company's extra fees and taxes. Two award-winning Optimum services, only $29.95 a month each, plus a free iPod Touch or $200 back. IOTV customers don't just call today. Call now. Whether it's for her now or in years to come, the watch experts at Forge Jewelers can help you find the perfect timepiece for any stage of life. As one of the largest authorized watch dealers, our extensive selection of men's, women's, and children's watches feature the top designer brands you're looking for. Breitling, Omega, Ebel, Movado, and so many more. No matter what the moment calls for, we're here to help make it flawless with our fine jewelry, designer watches, and gifts for every occasion. Forge Jewelers, New Brunswick Avenue, Fords. From Wall Street to your street, it's the only stop for all your money matters. It's your money and it's more than just headlines. From tax breaks and hidden savings to how to pay for college and who's hiring. It's about making, keeping, and saving your money. Invest some time and join me for the daily report you can't afford to miss. Watch It's Your Money from Wall Street to your street with Eric Lanscroner. Weeknights starting at 6, around New Jersey, around the clock. Only on News 12 New Jersey. Coming into tonight in North Jersey, Section 1, Group 4, North Bergen and Union City battling for power points in the playoffs, which begin in just two weeks. Big night in uh, Hudson County. Here's John Iskro with the highlights. A cold October wind blowing in North Bergen as they hosted Union City. A tough night for the Eagles. Back to punt. They fumbled the snap. North Bergen recovers, but the Bruins having struggles of their own. Peter Ramanan back to pass, but he's taken down for the sack by Isaac Flores. The Bruins mustering just enough offense to win this one 7-6. Cheers in Weehawken as the Indians trying to get their first win of the season versus Palisades Park. Second quarter, Kyle Beldock back to pass. He's going deep, but it's picked off by Jefferson Tejada in the end zone. Strong defense all night long by the Indians. Again, Beldock back to pass. This time he's taken down by Uziel Arias as Weehawken wins it 20 to 14. A rock solid performance by Hoboken tonight as they hosted Carney. Fourth quarter, Carney back to punt and the snap sails over Alvin Zhang's head. 
The Hoboken defense hustling all night long. Eric Greenlee back to pass for Carney. He's going deep, but he's picked off by Kane Denham, who rushes 40 yards the other way, taking it to midfield. Hoboken wins this one easily, 52 to six. In Hudson County, John Isgro, Friday Night Football. All right, thanks, John. Finally tonight, it's just so heartwarming to see the number of teams, communities, and people rallying around Eric Legrand, the Rutgers defensive end who was paralyzed in a football game against Army two weeks ago. But nowhere is that support and love more evident than Legrand's alma mater, Colonia High School. Here's George Falkowski with the story. There are days when a simple football game can be about so much more than football. So it was last Saturday at Colonia High School where the town turned out in support of injured Rutgers player and former Colonia student Eric Legrand. And the football team honored him with a 28-18 win over South Plainfield. It's a lot more than football today, isn't it? Yeah, this was, this was a lot more than a football game. So, and sometimes it looked like it was a lot more than a football game. But yeah, I just I can't say enough about my team and they, they had my back. We always talk about getting my back and they had it all week and they got they got me through probably the toughest time of my life and I, I love this team. This, I'll never forget them. Eric Legrand's presence was everywhere last Saturday on T-shirts, <laughs> buttons and stickers. And most importantly, he was on everyone's mind and in their hearts. It brings home a win for a hometown hero, absolutely. That's all he is, it was us. He's, he's the greatest role model I could ever have. Ever since my freshman year, he made football fun. He came out every day and never took it, grant, took it for granted. And, and I'm happy that uh, we got this win for him, not only for us, but for him. But we got ready to play a football game this week, and, and the support is just great. It's just amazing how a community can come together. Now, communities across New Jersey are also coming together to support Eric Legrand. Number 52 decals are springing up on helmets statewide. And Mike Fraunheim is one of the people behind the movement. Riddell All-American Sports is supplying the stickers with um, Scott Kay, myself, and uh, Jeff Rimby, our regional manager, have um, all pitched in together to um, supply these decals uh, as unity and support for the whole state of New Jersey to any school that requests them. Uh, upwards of about 240 this weekend, plus uh, I would say near 50 youth groups, plus all the local colleges and universities in the area. Let's go. All the donations, right prayers, love and support all funnel their way back to Eric Legrand and to the town that knows him best. I mean, you just want to play. You want to go out and play for Eric and do whatever you can to win. To win on this day, it's got to mean uh, something a little extra special. A lot more than a lot more than anything that I ever felt for a football game. Big day for us. Can't wait to go see him and uh, see his smile and uh, I I just I just know I just believe he's going to be fine. In Colonia, I'm George Falkowski for Friday Night Football. Warren Hills beat Scotch Plains 21-7. Phillipsburg over Hillsboro 31-24. Good night, everyone. Blue and white head. Let's go street. Hey, Washington. You're watching New 12 New Jersey. Is a beautiful new Karastan carpet part of your next home improvement project? At Worldwide, our in-stock selection of Karastan designer styles and patterns is so huge, you're sure to find something to fit every personality. And now's the perfect time to pick up our exclusive $350 home improvement bonus card. But hurry in, cards are limited. Worldwide, your home improvement resource for wood floors, carpet, rugs, ceramic, and window treatments. Card good on purchases $2,500 or more. Offer expires 11-12. Details in store. If you or loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma or lung cancer caused by exposure to asbestos, call the number on your screen now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Mesothelioma is a rare cancer most often caused by exposure to asbestos. You may have been put at risk of exposure in shipyards or mills, in the Navy, or in industries like heating, construction, insulation, and automotive. For over 30 years, our team has successfully helped thousands of victims and their families get the guidance and financial compensation they deserve to help with the costs of treatment, medical bills, and care. Please don't wait. If you've been diagnosed with mesothelioma or lung cancer caused by exposure to asbestos, call us now at one 800 948 